So I've been swamped with school for a while. Uh, sorry it took so long to get a video out. And uh, this is also a really long video, so caution if you don't have much time to watch it. Uh, you know, save it for later. Because uh, it's a pretty detailed tutorial. So uh, hope you enjoy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the seamless flush 4x3 door. And there's no way I was going to be able to remember how to build this from memory. Uh, like a step by step, you know, like I show you how to build it tutorial. So what I did instead was I broke it into components and then I built it in layers. So it should be fairly easy to follow as long as uh, you, know, you listen closely and you watch closely. And uh, if you don't get anything, like it doesn't make sense to you, uh, try watching the section again and it might help. So what I'm going to start out with is the uh, set of pistons that will push out the row of pistons that pull the bottom blocks. So this row. And uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, I'll show you it working. This, this thing is kind of complex. Ended up just, oh, oops. That's too many blocks. How many blocks is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not 12. Alright. So I just kind of got this design through trial and error. And it eventually worked out. So I'll show you how to build this. So starting on the very bottom layer, you're going to build this. It's going to be four blocks and then another block coming off of it diagonally at the end here. And you're going to have the repeaters facing this way. You're going to have a four repeater and you're going to have five four repeaters after that. And you're going to go two more blocks and then you're going to go up diagonally two like that and then forward one. And that's the bottom layer. Now over here I've color coded it as white because you already built it. So, and I'm building this thing backwards. So we're going from bottom to top just because it's easier that way. So keep that in mind with all these repeaters. So then after this block, you build a platform that is going to be five long and two wide. And off that platform, you build another 3 by 2 platform that's just uh, so you kind of have this L-ish kind of shape and then on here you put from here there's two blocks and you go eight like eight ticks so two four repeaters and then you have a redstone on the corner of the platform another redstone and then you have a four repeater heading this way notice these these are going this way as well so, you, so keep that in mind these are all the repeaters so far are going that way now you build another four repeater here and that's heading into this piece of redstone and then put a piece of redstone here and uh, that might actually be important. I don't see why I wouldn't have that there if it wasn't. Uh, and another four repeater here heading this way. Another redstone in the corner. And then another four repeater. And then a redstone here. So now you should kind of have like, what kind of basically a clock, but instead this one goes this way and this one goes that way. So it's not really a clock, but just the basic design of one. And then you have another four repeater here. So hopefully that made sense. Moving on, off of this one, now you have this platform here. Build a just single block uh, line out of it that's six blocks long. And then put redstone on the first three, and then four repeaters on the second three. And then off the redstone that connects to these repeaters, you put another four repeater heading this way and you connect this line to this platform over here and you have a three repeater right here 
heading into this block. Now it's important you put a torch here and here or else when this block powers it will power the redstone and it won't work. So make sure you put a torch here and here. The whole setup of redstone this entire door is really specific so if you don't do it exactly how it is it won't work unless you like overhaul the design. Which I welcome anyone to do. I'm sure this could be made smaller. Anyways, um, so off of this block, you do two blocks, and you do four blocks, and then you do six blocks, and you do seven, seven blocks, it's kind of lagging, I'm sorry, and then you do another seven blocks. So you should have a platform that's two, and then four, then six, and then seven, seven. And on the far right here, now again, like the repeaters, really specific, you gotta have them this way or else it won't work. I know it looks kinda weird, but this is a really weird design for piston extension and retraction. Uh, so you got a three repeater, and then a four, then a four, and then a two. And you got a four, a four, and a three. And a four, a four, and a two. Then a four, and a three. A four, and a one. A three, and a one. Yeah, and really specific, try and get that right. I'll go ahead and just kind of look at it for a second in case you want to pause it here. And uh, then you build blocks off of these repeaters. One high, or one up off the where they are. So they power them, and then you place torches along them. And then off of this, that line right there, you just go up one more block, and then you put a one repeater. Now heading back over here, you build a, another line of blocks out that's going to be five blocks and then you put your you do one redstone and then you do a two repeater a four repeater and a four repeater and keep in mind these are going this way and then redstone and you go up one block and another redstone so if you had trouble following that just watch it again uh, I feel like I went over everything pretty clearly and uh, you can also pause the video and look carefully and you can see the arrows on the repeaters. Now over here, this is what we just ended on. So you place a block on top of it. And you place three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Just a line of seven blocks off of it. And you have four, four repeaters heading into that block. Then you have a piece of redstone, and you have two four repeaters heading in the opposite direction of these repeaters into this block. And off of this block, you just build a uh, you build three, and then two, and then it should just connect back onto this platform. And this platform is off, not including that one. It's going to be a three platform, and then it's going to be a five platform and then it's going to be a 8 platform so it goes 3 5 8 oh is that 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh sorry that's 9 3, 5, 9 and then 9 so hopefully you got that and you on here you're going to have a 4 repeater and a 4 repeater and then again, really specific on the timing on these repeaters or else it won't work. You're going to have a three repeater, a three repeater, and a three repeater, so three three repeaters. And another set of three three repeaters. And a three repeater, and a two repeater, and a three repeater, and a one repeater, and a three repeater again, and another three repeater, and a two repeater, and a two repeater, and a one repeater. And that should... Again, I'll just go ahead and look at it for you for a second if you want to pause. And uh, also off of this line right here, this piece of redstone that's got the two and the four coming out of it, you put a one repeater heading into this platform. And off of that, you build a pulse generator, or a pulse limiter, sorry. I still get terms wrong. But this is a pulse limiter, and it's got four and a two repeater, and then it's got two redstone 
And I'll go ahead and show you this thing working again. Now, if yours doesn't do that, go ahead and rewatch this section, and uh, it should work for you. And uh, I turned brightness up to maximum, so it's really bright, but I'm going to sleep during the night anyways. Alright. Now that we've built this, that's these two red things on the door. Because there are two of them, so you'll have to build it twice, and uh, you'll have to mirror it, so... Uh, make sure you know how to do that and now building this thing so that green thing green clay stuff in there and start at the bottom again you have a you just kinda do like a C shape like that well that's not gonna be really helpful you do a three like that little L and you do a platform of two by four and you put redstone along like that and you put a block on top of here this third one on this platform on the closer side and you put a four repeater and a four repeater a piece of redstone on top of it another block here on the end and another four repeater and then a block here and then here place redstone adjacent to this uh, four repeater you have a one repeater and another one repeater here and a block here so it should look like this from the top you have kind of diagonal blocks another block on the corner and then four repeaters going along the outside and one repeaters on the inside and then place a block there and now off the end of this L, this is the only real single block on this bottom platform you raise up one block diagonally like that and you place redstone there and you have a three repeater and a four repeater and you place another block one higher than any of the other blocks and you place redstone on top of that now moving on again I color coded it so white is stuff you've already built place a red block well, <laughs> yeah place a block on top of this four repeater next to this piece of redstone and then off the back here you build up diagonally one another diagonal one and another diagonal one and you place a block on top of this redstone like that and you got two four repeaters and remember this is heading this way all of these are heading that way and so the current is going down and then from here now you've built these two you go over two and over one to the right and then again over one and you build four like that and then from this piece of redstone here on the edge of the build you do a three repeater and then you go up one block and you have two pieces of redstone like that and then here, between the four repeaters and this three repeater, you have a one repeater, and you put it into a piece of, uh, you put it into a block again, and you should have already placed that piece of redstone. And uh, then you also have a two repeater heading into this, uh, three blocks away from this three repeater. And. Um, Alright, now I placed the pistons here for you to see what this part of the mechanism does. So you're going to have four pistons like this. Uh, use this piece of redstone as a guide for where you place them, and also that block. And you put one space in between them, and then these are the blocks that are on top of the hallway that hold the top four blocks in place. And then you also place this piston. These are all sticky pistons. You place this piston right here in that spot hit facing down and I went ahead and added this pulse generator so you can see what it's doing and I've got time so that this pulls in before this block so that this can be this stack can be pushed up so this piston can kinda of like you don't you see it for like a brief split second but it's just supposed to make, make it so that uh, 
you see less of pistons during the open and close process. Now that you've built that, that's this green stuff, um, I'm going to show you this thing, and this will come into play later. Um, I won't actually be showing how to build that when I get over to there. And that's this black, this is obsidian part, and this is just part of the close process. So, oh, starting over here, this is where the current will enter, this blue block. So you build a platform that's 4x3, and then you add two blocks here, and then this red block goes right here. So now the current comes in here, so you do an L of redstone on this corner, and you do two one repeaters, and then you do a two repeater here, and a four repeater here, and you go over, leave this block open, and you get three, and then you do another four repeater, and then that connects to this, and that should, uh, should put two redstone there. And then here, you Again, white, what you already built, and I didn't bother adding all this stuff on again, so ignore that. Uh, here's this, so you place a block in the middle where you left it open, and then you go up diagonally one, then you turn and go up diagonally one again, and you build a 3 by 2 platform, and then you extend one block off of that, and then you place a block there, next to this line. And then you have a one repeater and a three repeater and a one repeater and that's how that part works so I, I, again I'm not gonna be uh, I'll just tell you you know like put this part of the machine in this place and uh, so you should practice building each of these and then when we get to it I'll show you how to actually assemble the pieces together into an actual door Alright, and this is the bulk of, the, well, I guess that's the bulk of the mechanism. That thing was a pain to build. But this is what most of the process of the door is uh, located. So you can see, uh, it's pretty complex. This this is actually the only the closed process. And then everything else, this clay and the brick and all that is the open process. So... I'll start from the input on this one, so all the repeaters will be heading in the same direction. So you start out, and you have one block of redstone, and then you have a one repeater, and then you go seven blocks with redstone, then you have another one repeater, and you go five more blocks with redstone, and you turn, and you have four four repeaters and build this torch tower. See, to build this you just go like that. And you place torches here, here, and here. And then from here, one block before you turn into this four, uh, the four four repeaters, you break off and you go two blocks in. And then you go three blocks. And then on the second block you go uh, left with one redstone so you should have a two gap between these and you have a four repeater and then this torch and uh, this block and torch <coughs> hmm, sorry and uh, then you have a four repeater and then place a redstone and then put four four repeaters heading this way and then redstone and a two repeater heading in this direction and then a four repeater and a two repeater heading in this direction and then place redstone back into this same block that this uh, repeater went into and off of this two repeater you just build two blocks like that you go diagonally one block and you go diagonally one block again up and you build a platform that's four by two and then place repeaters here, redstone all along here leading up to it and then place blocks along here like that and then also these have to be obsidian just uh, 
just in case, because it's annoying that the like if anything goes wrong. Uh, I just like to have these as obsidian. So place obsidian here and here, and then place uh, normal pistons on top of them, facing up. Now continuing off of this branch, you go one, two, three, four, five blocks with redstone, and place a block, and then go up diagonally. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, including the block you just placed, and then diagonally up two more, and then over two, and place two four repeaters there. And this will feed into one of these, um, like actually that one for the open process. And now you branch off from right before this block. You go left two with redstone. And you place another four repeater. And you place a block and a torch. And you place another torch on top of that block. And you place another torch or another block. So essentially a torch tower. It is a torch tower, not a center, it's a torch tower. <laughs> and uh, you place another block here. And then you place four pieces of redstone and four repeaters and then another uh, line of blocks and then you place torches on the end of this line of blocks. So it looks like this except it has torches here and it's a little higher up. And branching off of this, yeah, it's getting dark again. And of course it has to be raining because something has to go wrong. Ah, oh. convenient, all right. I have the power of Minecraft. I told it to stop raining. All right. Anyways, uh, so you get a two repeater, and a one piece of redstone here, and then two four repeaters, and another piece of redstone. So you basically just kind of wrap back around this tower or this thing, this diagonal of blocks, and then you place, uh, let's see, seven four repeaters uh, parallel to these two redstone lines. And you place a block here between these two repeaters. And then off of this block, you go up one and over one. And you place a repeater heading into the piece of obsidian. And you have to drop down a block again. Or else uh, these, um, the repeaters on these blocks will actually power this line. So you drop down a block and then go over and come back up another block. And then place another repeater. Alright, so color coded everything white is what you've already built. And now this part uh, can be. It's a little cramped in here, so pay very close attention, and I'll go over it uh, slowly. So on top of this torch right here, that torch over there, you place a block, and then you place one, two, three, four, five blocks heading off to the right side of it. And you place four blocks heading off to the left side of it. And in the middle here, you place a piece of redstone and another piece of redstone on the side that has five blocks. And then two one repeaters on either side. And then you build kind of like a T with the redstone right here on the end. So you have this is the end of the five blocks you just built. So put one block here, one block here, and another block here. And then build a two repeater and place a block one up from where the uh, platform that you've assembled is and the repeater leading into it and a torch there and you want to do the same on this side just a two repeater and a torch and a kind of tee with the redstone and now heading off of this piece of redstone you go up diagonally two and you place a torch here on this block so this is powering it, it should be depowered. And you place redstone on top of the block that's on top of the torch. And you place three one repeaters heading in to the middle. And then in this middle area right here, so like where you'd have your two middle pistons, you place two blocks. And again, you just copy it on the other side. Now, off of this torch tower, this one, you do the same thing as you did here. You do three over to this way, 
and you do four over to this way. So you have to build off of the torch tower unevenly, but that's only because the door is an even number. So don't let that confuse you. And uh, so heading off the four side, and on both sides actually, you then head four blocks in from the end of the platform you built. And you place a repeater here, and a torch there, and a block on top of the torch. And in the middle here, you just go from the same like the same block as the torch. You go forward one and over one. You add these two, and you add another two. So these uh, two repeaters can be placed there. And then on these blocks, you place torches. And then on top of these block, on top of the torches, you place two more blocks. And now, as you can see, this is the torch from the other platform that you built. You just place a block on top of it, and you place a piece of redstone right next to this repeater, and you place another repeater, and that feeds into this block right here, which should be uh, on the end of the pistons. And again, you do the same on this side, and the same. So that's probably one of the more complex components of the door. So. Again, if that didn't make sense, just go ahead and watch it again, um, and pause the video, look closely at what repeaters are set to what. Pretty much this whole thing is just one repeaters, except for this, which is a two repeater. So you just have to place them in the right spots. And then on the back here, you place blocks on top of these torches, and then I placed uh, these uh, pistons. And now the close process. Here's the input for the close process. You have a four repeater, and then you do a four repeater, a two repeater, and a one repeater. And I have this right here as nether uh, nether rack because it's kind of using a little redstone trick. So, in order to make it so this thing would power this uh, row right here separately, it first comes in and powers this block, which powers this redstone, and powers this uh, repeater line. And when it comes back around, this uh, repeater will power this redstone. But because of how the redstone uh, behaves now, it doesn't actually connect into this block, so it won't power this block so it won't power these repeaters. So that's just a nice little trick you can use. Uh, when you're in a tight space, you can use blocks like this to uh, kind of really compact your redstone. Anyways, uh, nice little tip. Um, anyway, Alright, so then you have four four repeaters heading off of it. And you do uh, kind of like three like that, three redstone like that. And then you do another two four repeaters, a three repeater, and then a two repeater. And you should line up with this nether rack. And then also coming down here, right before you head into this repeater line, you drop down one block, place redstone on top of it, and then have a four repeater here. And this is going into this torch tower this torch tower right here that this stuff goes into right there and it also curves around so it's just right here this torch tower all right and that is the open and close process for the bottom part of the door so here's to close and this uh it has such a long delay because it has to wait for that component right there to push these pistons back into place and then the open and then again that uh, I said it so that it has enough delay that these pistons are actually pushed out of the hallway before these blocks drop down so that they uh, kind of remain hidden during the opening process alright so that's how you build that component of the door and now you've built the three main components of the door 
these are like this component's used twice, so is this component, and this is used once. So build that, build this component wherever you want your door to be, and then from this component right here, and also place four red or four obsidian off of where you have your pistons here. Just one block forward, and you place four obsidian. And you take this piston extension retraction uh, component that you built and you place it so that it is, this is the torch tower right here. And this is the top part where it's kind of like this uh, C shape. And right here on the edge where it turns back into this platform, you just line that up with the torch tower top block. Or you could also uh, use this piston right here, you just go over three, and then down one, and that's where the uh, platform that your pistons sit on should be. So just build it there, and you should be able, uh, if that makes sense, that will... <laughs> I used MC edit because I cheated. I didn't want to build this thing a bunch. So, and then also just mirror it onto this side in the exact same location so that when your pistons are fully retracted they should be one two three four five six blocks away from the hallway floor now moving on over to this now it's all white because oh yeah and just so uh, you don't miss anything this is the component that I was talking about that I wasn't going to explain how to build that's this thing over here that you built and that has this thing attached to it so that's what this is this is the obsidian and the clay right here this stuff so you just place that this is the top piston so this is like the top block in your hallway so like one two three like that and you just place them one block, this is the wall of the hallway, you just place your pistons there. So you see what I mean? And uh, this right here is part of the bottom platform that you built, where it's a four repeater and there's a block here. And then there's a four repeater underneath this block. And then there's the block here, and there's another four repeater. And a nice way to know where to place this is that this is the, uh, this would be the wall right here, like the outer wall. You just go in one block and you go left two blocks and that's where your four repeater should end up. So just start off building on this four repeater and you, if you build that part right, it will come out to be the, in the right location. All right, and now I'm going to build the, I'll show you the uh, input. So this is the button, the input your, so like to open and close it. And you just have a torch on the back of it, and a block on top of that, and a torch, and a block on top of that. And you have two redstone heading over, and then another two redstone, and you build a D flip, or a T flip flop, so you just have two blocks like this, uh, torches on the ends, a uh, piston, a normal piston, not a sticky piston, and another normal piston, and then a block. And then this block right here, just one down with a torch powering into this block. So I'll go ahead and quickly build that for you. Uh, I need a piston. Like that like that like that and then you place torches there redstone here and a torch there and now when you hit a button on it don't have a button uh, let's see it will actually toggle and that's why it's called a T flip-flop it's a toggle flip-flop 
So that's what that is. That will change it from being the open to close process each time you press the button. And then coming off of it, the left side of the toggle flip flop, you have a, you go in one block, then you go up diagonally two blocks, and you turn, you go up diagonally one block, and you turn again, you go up diagonally another block. And then you place redstone on all those, and you have a four repeater, and then uh, you go one more block, and then create a little four platform, a two by two platform, and you build a pulse limiter here. So four and two, and a sticky piston and a block. And then on the other side, this will be feeding into something that I built over there. And coming off this diagonal block right here, you go down one, so you're on the same level as this. You just kind of went over one, forward one and over one. And you build a f four block platform. And then you put a block on the end of it, raised up one, a torch there, a block on top of that torch, and then you build another little uh, four platform, two by two platform, with four repeater and two repeater to build up another pulse limiter. And uh, I'll, I'll come back to that. Off of this right here, three blocks into your thing, one block away from the redstone that leads into this torch. You go off one block and then you place a, another torch and then you just do a torch tower down. So you, that'll give you a nice good view of it. So it goes down two and then forward one and you place redstone there and a torch there. And then when you reach the bottom here, after doing that with three torches, you have two redstone one repeater, another two redstone, you go down one, and then you have one, two, three, four, five blocks, and then you build an inverter, so just a block with a torch on it, and then you build another little two by two platform with a pulse limiter on it, and then this right here is what you've already built, I don't know why it's in red, but this is what you already built over there, it's that thing. So you should have this, so you just feed this line directly into that. And that would be the close process for the bottom part of the door. And now hitting off of this pulse limiter, back over here, you go, you have one redstone, and you go down diagonally two, then you go down diagonally two again, and you build one block out on the same level, and you go down diagonally three, and you go down diagonally one, and then, uh, oh, this thing doesn't have that stuff. That's my bad. I forgot to ignore that. There's stuff here, like that. Uh, in case that's, in case like you don't recognize this area, that's the seven block of repeaters. Anyway, so then you build another little platform, and you go down to diagonally one, and then you feed into this one repeater right here which is where you started uh, building this part of the door, this component. Alright, and then going back up here again, you have a four repeater, and you go up one block, and you go over four blocks, and you got three four repeaters here, and this should connect into the two um, clay components that you built the clay and obsidian component, that stuff, and then just connect them together with this redstone right here, so that they're uh, one unit. And then over here, you go up diagonally one block again, and another diagonal up one block, and then you build a four repeater, and then two blocks, and you build a D flip or a T flip flop again. And this is a different kind of D flip flop. Uh, so I, mean, I guess you could build this one if you wanted, but either one works. And how you build this one is this block that the redstone feeds into. You put a torch on the side of it, then you put a block on top of it, and you put another torch on the opposite side, so it's going to be over the block that you're feeding into. And then you have a two repeater that this torch right here is powering. 
and you go up one block and you build two blocks like this and another two blocks like this so it's like a backwards L here and then off of this torch you build a three repeater and then put a torch on the end of it right in line with this repeater and then put a sticky piston here and a block on it and then also build this right here so that um, when it's in this position it's sending power so that is oh and alright so and when it's sending power through you go down two diagonally so that this redstone is right next to this block and you go down another one and then this off of this block you go one two three four and you build a two by four platform right here that your um, pistons will be on the final block right here underneath it and this this has to be a two by four platform like this otherwise that happens so make sure that you set it up in this way and then also put these two blocks right here it doesn't necessarily have to be another rack I just had them like this so that they're easy to discern from the other blocks around them and that will prevent this line from tampering with this line and that is the all the feed lines so now I'm gonna move on to the final part of the door which is just um, part of the open and uh, close process so coming off of this block right here this pulse limiter this one right here that didn't have anything built on it before you go three blocks and you go up diagonally two blocks and you build one two three four five six seven blocks off of this block in this direction and you put six four repeaters and you place uh, redstone right here and you go left with another four repeater and redstone and now this part is kind of tricky so pay attention you place a redstone torch here and then you go over you go down one block and over two blocks and you place a block there and you place a torch that's pretty much directly underneath this torch it's in the same um, like column of blocks and you put redstone on top of it and then you go down one block and then over a block place redstone on top of it place a torch there and you do you drop down two blocks for this one so you go down one two and over one so you're directly underneath this torch you place two redstone and you place a torch here and this is the input for that over there that blue block is where this torch should be entering this part of the mechanism all right and now back to here you when you go right build three blocks like this and then put a repeater on the middle one and then off of this block you head back towards the D flip flop or T flip flop rather and you have a three repeater a one repeater and a two repeater and then redstone here and then build a little um, two by four platform here and put two redstone and a one repeater a four repeater and a one repeater and uh, then fill out the rest of the platform and then go down diagonally two blocks and then we'll get to this part and uh, so off of this where you just branch down into this part you build two more four repeaters and you put a block on the end and then here this line that leads into the uh, T flip flop you put one block up so this is the block that these are on you just go down one block so that when this powers into this block it powers this redstone and then powers this uh, T flip flop and uh, I'll go over this part too down here so this is the clay component that you built and then so here's the two repeater two blocks in you branch off to the middle part of the door 
like the middle section between the two uh, clay components and you build a four repeater and then you go up diagonally two blocks and over one block and you go towards the actual door part of the door with uh, a three repeater and a four repeater and then you place one redstone and another three repeater turning in and this is what you just built with that stuff so now place a block there and it should connect and uh, oh yeah this nether rack is again meant to prevent wire crossing so make sure to place that or any kind of block that isn't transparent so that it will cut off the redstone flow between there and now there's another four repeater and another four repeater and then two blocks and you place redstone on top of them and then you place two uh, sticky pistons underneath those blocks facing down and they should be directly in front of this uh, two by four platform that you built earlier and right above the middle two pistons one block in front of them so this would be the wall right here and this is where the pistons are now coming back over here before you did this uh, six pit or six um, four repeaters you go over one block and then forward a block and then over another block and then forward one block and you place a repeater and then two more blocks and you place a repeater so that this repeater is in the same on the same block that this repeater is feeding into and that again is another little redstone trick to prevent wire crossing and then on this side you have a redstone so that it powers through and powers this and another repeater and then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 a 12 long uh, single wide platform coming out of that repeater and then um, this piston that you placed right here on this component you should know where that is you have a one block space and then you place a normal piston on the bottom side of this line and then four blocks in past the repeater you break off and you build a another platform right above these two blocks that have the pistons right there and you build six four repeaters and you place redstone here and a um, repeater one before the platform ends so again prevent wire crossing and you go down you go so you go forward one and down one place redstone and place a torch forward down forward one down one place redstone and place a torch on this side and then you go down two and forward one and then you place a torch here and again this is that this is where that blue wool was right right here and uh, that will power into this part of the um, component and now this is like the final part uh, off of this one so you should have this block right here you build two over and you build two over again and you go down diagonally one and off of that block you go down diagonally five and then down diagonally one again and then this is a uh, manual reset right here for the um, for that stuff in case like yeah, I don't know I just have it there just in case and uh, then you feed it into this uh, pulse limiter that you built and here's the start of the um, piston extension retraction so I hope all that was uh, coherent and you understood it as I just realized that I'm really glad I have my brightness up or else I'd have to redo this whole part I hope it wasn't too dark for you guys I mean I didn't even notice it was nighttime um, so sorry about that uh, so yeah now your door should work oh yeah I forgot to mention place these four obsidian like this or else it's not gonna work because uh, this interferes with these pistons as they're getting pushed back into the door so you want to have obsidian um, 
right on the wall, but you won't be able to see it when the door is open, only when it's closed. So this would be the wall, and you go one in, and oops, you need that too. You go one in, and then you place just four obsidian like that. And now go ahead and test your door. And there you go. You uh, should have done that. And if it didn't, um, go ahead and rewatch the video. Uh, make sure that all your um, components are right and everything's timed correctly. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you uh, enjoy having this door in your world. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos in the future. So, again, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.